The Little Rock Zoo is located in Little Rock, Arkansas. It was founded in 1926. This zoo is a home to more than 725 animals, representing over 200 species. The Little Rock Zoo participates in the American Species Survival Program that was developed by the American Association of Zoos and Aquariums. The purpose of this mission is to help ensure the survival of many animals that are threatened or endangered in the wild. Let's take a look at the few animals housed in this popular tourist attraction. First, let's go visit the reptiles and birds facility. The Rosette Spoonbill live in Central and South America, and they are on the species survival list. They get their pretty pink color by the natural dye in the food they eat. The Skeet Makers Crowned Pigeon live in southeastern New Guinea, and they are on the species survival list. They are easy targets to hunt because they are unafraid of people. Many hunters collect their feathers and sell them illegally. The Calamico live in all of South America. They thrive on fruits and insects. When the dry season comes, they are the only tropical monkeys to rely on fungi for food. They weigh less than one pound and can jump as high as 14 feet. This monkey is very playful. Unfortunately, they are on the threatened species list. Now, let's go visit the big cats. The ocelot live in Central and South America. Wild ocelots are very difficult to find due to their great ability to hide in the thick rainforest and hollow trees. Their many spots help provide security and camouflage. An interesting fact about them is that unlike other cats, ocelots are great swimmers. They love the water. They are also on species survival plan. The cheetah reside in Asia. They are on the species survival plan and only 10,000 exist today, what number is still declining. The African lion live in southern Africa. An interesting fact is females do most of the hunting while the males protect their territory. Unfortunately, they are a threatened species. The Malayan tiger live in Asia. Even though they have bright orange stripes, that does not stop them from being able to hide. Their black stripes help provide camouflage. They are an endangered species. Next up is the bears. The Malayan sun bear live in Asia. These bears absolutely love honey. They have very forceful claws, allowing them to tear open tree trunks to find bees and beehives. They have eight inch long tongues and eat honey, insects, and larvae. Their nickname is honey bears. They are an endangered species. The bush dog reside in South America. They sleep in hollow trees or burrows that have been abandoned by other animals. They have webbed toes and can swim, and they don't live far from wetlands and rivers. They are a threatened species. Now, let's visit the greater kudu. They live in southern Africa. They can run as fast as 60 miles per hour. They are on the species survival plan. Now, let's visit the great anteater. They live in Central and South America. What they eat is in the name. They eat up to 30,000 ants and termites each day. Their snout are toothless and acts as a snorkel. They swim across rivers, and their snouts stick up in the water like snorkels. They are on the species survival plan. Next, let's visit the great apes. Chimpanzees reside in Africa. They are very intelligent animals, as people have taught them how to use sign language and understand symbols. They are on the endangered species list. Western lowland gorillas live in Africa. Gorillas eat plants all day and adult males eat 40 pounds. They are on the endangered species list. Let's visit the elephants. Asian elephants live in Asia. Elephants like to greet each other by extending their trunks toward herd mates or putting them into elephants' mouths. They are on the endangered species list. Last but not least, let's visit the flamingos and tortoise. The Chilean flamingo live in South America. No one truly knows why they stand on one foot and tuck the other foot in. Scientists believe they may be resting or conserving body heat. They are the threatened species.
The Adapa tortoise live in Africa. They are one of the largest tortoises in the world, males weighing up to 550 pounds. They are a threatened species. Why is it important to learn about these animals, you may ask? Well, zoos teach individuals how important nature is. When a species becomes endangered, it can be a sign that the ecosystem is slowly disintegrating. Humans depend on healthy ecosystems as it gives us clean air to breathe. Thousands of species of wild animals are in danger of going into extinction, and it is our duty to protect them. If we do not take care of these animals, then we will only see them in the books.